Hello everybody, welcome. Now, subscribe one today. Jade and Liam, I was going to do it tomorrow, but I thought I'd do it today. Um, burgers, but not normal burgers. They're these burgers. Let me show you. Have you see that? Smash burgers. Oh yes. So I'm going to do that one. Uh, the signature beef. And I'm also going to do that one, Oklahoma Smash Burger. Um, but I'm going to do it a couple of different ways. You know me, put, put my little twist on it. I'm going to do them two, but I'm going to cook them a little bit different. Because apparently Smash Burgers, you cook them in your own fat. Uh, I am with the one, well with the two. And with the other one I'm not, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I'm going to also do, Nat doesn't want a, a burger bun. So, Nat's having hers in a lettuce bun. So there's going to be a couple of different ways of doing it. Whichever way takes your fancy. So let me show you what we're doing first then. I've got the mince. I've got two packs of mince because I'm going to do eight burgers. There's two patties on each one. I've got two of them. I've got some lettuce, got the leaves for that, and I've got some uh, chopped up for me. Raw onions on the one, and caramelised onions on the other. Simple, red onions. Some chopped up tomatoes, uh, sliced tomatoes. Uh, if it was me, I'd probably fry them, but it doesn't say just how to put them on, so I'm not going to fry them, but if it was me, I would. Tomato ketchup. I've got some burger sauce. It says use uh, their own smash sauce, but I don't know what that is, so I just got burger sauce anyway. Some cheese. Some gherkins, pickles. Lovely. Uh, it says mustard. Um, fine English mustard, very strong. And so they probably on about American mustard, which is a lot, you know, not as strong as it. So I just got Dijon for that. And some cobs. Simple and hopefully delicious. How hard can it be? Famous last words, eh? Um, first things first then, I'm going to get them caramelised. So let's go over to the cooker and we'll start. I've got the uh, frying pan on. I'm going to do my onions in one. I'm going to do my smash burgers in the other. But I want to get my onions done first. Because I can sit to the side, can't I? Let me have a little bit of oil. Get that heated up. Put the onions in. And a little bit of brown sugar, and then we'll, uh, you can do its thing while we mash the burgers up, can't it? Simple, hopefully. Well, I'm going to get my onions in. Nice little sizzle, something like to here. We'll get them start wilting up, get some brown sugar in, and we'll let them do the thing. Let me know if you've had a smash burger before. I've never had one, ever. There's only burger in it, was smashed up. Um... So it'd be good to know, wouldn't it? Good to try for me. So I got it off a recipe, it's called uh, Smash Burger UK. If you want to have yourselves a look. It doesn't say what the recipe actually is, it just says what's on the menu. So I'm uh, playing it by here, what I'll do. It doesn't say how much ingredients to, to use, so we'll see. Well, I'm going to put a little bit of brown sugar in now. There we go. We'll start getting that caramelised up a bit. Lovely, lovely. We'll let that do its thing for a few minutes and then uh, while that's doing, we'll get on with the burger. I'll just keep an eye out on them. Uh, just keep turning them occasionally. Well, I'm going to get the mince out. Now with the mince, um, because it's going to be a, a smashed burger, oops, get that. Get it out anyway. Because it's going to be a smash burger. Um, when you smash it, I've only got. So I think when you smash it, it's going to go through the holes. So what I thought I'd do. I don't know if it'll work or not, but it's well worth trying. I've got my potato ricer. I know it's got holes in the bottom. But I thought. A bit of parchment paper on there. And squash it down. 
So if that works, if we don't, I'll get a cup or something. So anyway, I want to put this into four. I'm not sure how much you're supposed to have per burger. How much meat, I don't suppose it's a little bit more there. I want to try and get it even as I can. Uh, I did have a look online and uh, different people saying different things. Some were saying 95 grams, some were saying 125. So I thought, well, I'll just get that and I'll just cut it in four and that's it. So basically, you want to put it into a, a bun, don't you? But you don't want it too hard. You don't want it too solid, clumped together, apparently. I don't know if it could fall apart or what, I don't know. Well, there's one. Like that. I can put it on there, can't I? Be a bonus. I'll get these four done. I don't know if it's going to be too much meat or what. Next one. There we go, there's four of them. I'm just going to wash my hands. Right, onions are done. There you go, nice and simple. Put them out of the way. Um, now I want to get my burgers. That's not having the bun, so I won't do them. Mind you, I could do put the buns on now, couldn't I? Just get them buns on. I've cleaned the pan out. I could have used the uh, left all the juices in there from the onions and that, but I haven't bothered. I'm going to get the other pan on while that's heating up. For the smash burger. And what I'm going to do with one of them, because it says cook it in your own in its own fat, right? I'm going to cook one with Wagyu beef dripping. I had this at Christmas and I never used it. Uh, might give that extra nice taste, mightn't it? We'll see, eh? Right, the pan's boiling off. I've done all the patties, look. There we go. Um, so now, we're going to get them in. Now I'm thinking, I'll probably do mine first. Because otherwise, Mine can get cold a little bit while I do that. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do mine first. So first of all, I want two patties. Will I get two in here or we have to do them separate? I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? Boiling up pan. Squash down. I don't know how thin they're supposed to be. I know they're supposed to be quite thin, isn't they? I think that might do. Let's get another one on. Take that off. I think it's supposed to be really thin, isn't they? But I ain't really got the room. What have I done here, look? Get that on there. This seems to work, though. Bog soap. Bit of salt. Say, okay, bit of salt on top. I've only got table salt. I'm going to have to open the window because of the smoke alarm. Apparently you have to spray them until they start crunching up. That's what I'll do. I suppose the better meat you've got, the better taste it's going to be, in it? That's why I thought I'd try that. The wagon's dripping. You might make it taste a lot better. Cooking away, cooking away. Let's have a look. Oh yes, might be a little bit thick. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cook them all up. Um, I'll get them all out, and then I'll just show you the the wagyu one. No good showing you each one the same, in it. No point. Well, here's the lads. I'm going to have to do them kind of separate. He just wants to do the double cheese. Double cheese. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? No salad on his. No sauce. So there's the lads anyway. I have to probably show you individually. Right, I'm just going to do Nats now. Uh, I'll do more Wagyu one last. Let's get some lettuce. The lettuce. Tell you what, these smell quite nice. Uh, still quite warm. I'm not sure what sauce she wants on. Let me ask her. Now what sauce you having? Oh, you having? Uh, come and pick your sauce, in fact. I'm gonna see what you want on it. Loads to go on. 
She's coming. She's going to pick what she wants. You're going to have two patties, right? You've got two patties. Like so. Right, cheese. You've got to have a cheese. This is your one. The lettuce one. Onions, tomatoes. You've got to have onions and tomatoes because that's what the picture says. Raw tomatoes, or do you want some uh, yeah, raw? Raw tomatoes, find that. And then you want sauces. You got, or if you want sauce, one lettuce, you got red sauce and burger sauce. Yeah, a bit of red sauce on my burger and a bit of ranch sauce on the side of my plate, please. Bit of red sauce on there? Yeah, please. That enough? Thank you. And some of that on there? Some of it on my plate, please. Thank you. Like that? There's that, and you want another leaf. Uh, see if I can get a good thumbnail on it, actually. I'm going to have to do them individually. I do, yeah. Yeah, because, oh, of, yes. because otherwise they're all going to get cold, ain't they? Yeah, true. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to thumbnail on that one. Done. Thank you. There's your sweetheart, though. You might as well go and eat it and just sit there, because obviously I've got to do mine now. Okay. Do you want to wait for you? No, you just eat yours, because it'll get cold. Okay. Well, I'm going to put some Wagyu on this one, then. So I've got this Christmas, I can open it, start in the kitchen, fast everywhere, it's me and it, me all over. Ugh. What's that burger taste like? Really nice. I'm going to put a teaspoon of that in, and hopefully he might go in with the juices with the burgers, we don't know do we? Don't need, not having a lot, just a little bit, just to bring in the flavour. Right, let's get more smash burgers on then. One. I don't know how thick they're supposed to be. I, I can't expect them supposed to be really thin, can you? Because it would defeat the object, wouldn't it? It's got to have a bit of meat in it, ain't you? It's got a bit of meat in it. A bit of thickness in it, or what? Mm. Is that got a, is that a right bit of thickness, or is it a bit? Yeah, no, it's fine. Chaos, I know that one. Because I'm doing three different, four different ones. You know what I mean? That's why. All over the place. Better than having loads of pans on at the same time though. Oh yeah, well that's what I thought. Instead of having four pans on and things burning and everything. That's the only thing about family cooking. Eh? Yeah, but it's all right if you are having the same, isn't you? Well, because you want the one with lettuce, Danny wants the one with just cheese. Oh. And I wanted to do a normal one and one with the wagon, so I've done four. Oh. Otherwise, if you just done all the same, it's easy, eh? You know what I mean? I've got to be a bit awkward, huh? I've got to be a bit awkward. You've got to be awkward. You've yeah. got to be awkward all the time. That's what I'm joking. They are nice, aren't they? We, sometimes we have burgers in a lettuce wrap, don't we? Mm. For a change. And they are quite nice. You get all the juice in the lettuce, don't you? So you just get soaked up in the bread. It doesn't move it on. You what? The juice normally gets soaked up in the bread, and it doesn't yeah. move it. Yeah, it's quite nice. It is quite nice. But anyway, we'll let this do this thing for a few minutes. Right, then I'm going to start building the one. So we've got, I think it's, I need the picture, don't I? I need the picture. Let me get the picture up again. Two patties at the bottom. Like so. Then we want a cheese. We want a cheese. Then we want gherkins or pickles. Put a few on here. One, two, you don't like gherkins, do you? Three. Raw onion on this one. Tomatoes. I ain't going to get a whistle on there, am I? And a bit of lettuce. Uh, ketchup. And the sauce. 
Got a bit of ketchup on top. And I suppose a bit of sauce on here. On the lid. Look at that thing. See if we can show you properly. Oh yes. Oh yes. That's it all hers. Good girl back. And this one's virtually the same, but I think it has mustard and we just check. We want to get it right, don't we? Cows do apologize if this video is a bit chaotic. What else we got? <sighs> Two patties. Onions at the bottom. I don't know if there's any sauce at the bottom because I can't see. There might be, I suppose. Might be that. That burger sauce might be at the bottom, I suppose. Then a patty. Then a cheese. All over the place. <laughs> bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I like to keep it real. You know that. Then a cheese. Then some more onions. Then a the patty. I bet the mustard was on the bottom, so I forgot that. Put it on the top anyway. Pickles. Am I doing well, Bab? <laughs> Am I doing well? Okay. Don't worry about me handing the pickles on you like them. Um, pickles. No tomatoes on this one. And then we want the sauces. I'm going to put the red sauce on top. And because I forgot. Where is it? Here it is. I think that probably went at the bottom, wouldn't it? That mustard. I'll stick it on the top. It's just a little bit. Don't loads, dear. Is there any uh, burger sauce on this? No, no burger sauce on this one. And there's that one. Two different ones. Alright, let me take a thumbnail of them. And after all, edit, try and edit into one thumbnail somehow. Then I'm getting up the table. So there we go then. What did I do? Four different smash burgers. Uh, can't show you the other two because they've been at now. But they look nice, don't they? I think they look really nice. That's the one with the Wagyu, without the tomatoes on. Just see if it's any different, that's all. Right, let's see if we can tuck in. And let me try and show you properly first. There we go, look. That one looks better, doesn't it, with the tomatoes? Got all the dripping down there, look, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Chaos in the kitchen. Chaos in the kitchen. But I say it wouldn't be chaos if it, it was only doing one lot, you know, only because I've done all four different different ones. Uh right, I'm gonna try the yeah, one with the tomatoes first. Not the wagyu one, the normal one. If I can get me my fan, it's huge, isn't it? Um I don't know whether them smash burgers are thick enough or thin enough or what. I don't know because I've never had one. But they look okay to me. I've only had one bite in it. Ooh. That's really filling now. I can feel it straight away. You won't have too much. Uh, I'll try the other one. That is really not, I like that one. Let's try the Wagyu one. There it is. God, I've had one bite of that. And... Ooh. The 
the Wagyu one with the uh, with the mustard tastes a lot better. I think if that one had mustard on it as well and cooked in Wagyu sauce, the Wagyu doesn't gives it a little bit. I'm just try a little bit of meat on its own if I can grab a bit. The Wagyu. The normal one. The normal one's a bit cold now though, so it's a bit more chewy. It's sat a bit longer. Yep, yeah, with the Wagyu. I do apologise if you hear any drilling. Uh builders next door. I would have I would cook it in the Wagyu next time. But with that recipe, with DJ mustard on top. So if you had the tomatoes and everything on there, on there, if you mixed and matched it, I think you'd be perfect, about perfect. But all in all, absolutely delicious. I'm never going to eat a million years like these two. Look at the size of that. I'm not going to eat it all. Oh. I mean, and it wasn't there to make. Um, the meat was 179, 500 gram. I did get two. Um, the buns, a bit of salad, and some sauces. I put in what sauce you want, really, isn't it? Them gherkins were one pound ten from Tesco. Was it one pound ten for them gherkins? I think it was a Tesco zone. I think it was, only, it was only cheap anyway. It was cheaper than the other ones that I had for two quid. Uh, and the, that burger sauce was one pound ten. And the gherkins might have been one sixty. So, it was quite cheap for four here. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, for four burgers. You're laughing. As I say, I am the old food guy. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Jaden Loom, absolutely delicious then, mate. Absolutely delicious. The pair in you. The website is called Smash Burgers UK. They've got, they've actually got a restaurant. I don't even know. Uh, not far from where we live. I might go there one day and do a review on it. Um, in the spring probably. Might be worth going over there and having a look. It's in Wensbury if anyone's ever been to it. Uh, I think there's one in Newcastle. They've got them all over the country apparently. But there we go anyway. I'm going to go, I'm going to eat it now. Probably the one anyway. Uh, till next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye. And everyone else out there, so it's a bonus. See you later. Thanks, Jade and Liam. Bye bye.